I gotta enchant the sword. Let's see. Um, let's get uh lucky number thirteen. Uh, what? Is that even possible? Is that even possible? Dude, that's totally rad. How is that even possible? Let's see, what? Let's test this sword on a sh freaking pig. What? Just one kill. Dude, that's awesome. That's awesome. All right, what's going on guys? JJ Yankee here, and today, that was pretty awesome, right? Well, that is because I'm using a mod. Now, I'm guessing a lot of you guys can guess this mod. This mod is very basic. A lot of people know about it, but it has some cool features in it, and I want to share them with you. So, if you didn't know, the mod is Too Many Items. Now, Too Many Items looks like a bunch of awesomeness, which it kind of is a bunch of op awesomeness, but it has every single item in the game, including spawners, including static lava, so what that means is it doesn't spread, it just stays right there. Unless it, it receives a block update. Um, portal blocks. So, that's... I uh, messed up. Accidentally went to the nether. Yeah, the portal blocks, if you put them next to each other, it disappears because it receives a block update. But, there's so many items. Let's see here. Another cool one is... There's like a furnace that is already on, as you can see, which actually isn't even cooking anything, but I thought that is kind of cool. Um, now you may be wondering how I got that sword. Now, as you can see up here, there's a chest with all the items in the game. The star, which is your favorite, as you can see I have a bunch of super good stuff. And this, this is the mat, this is where the magic happens. So, if I want to take a piece of dirt, simplest block of the game, I need to just place it right there. You can give it sharpness, looting, and make it, or you can even name it the dirt block. And now I can block, drop this, and as you can see on this pig, you get. You get a stack of meat every single time, basically. And you can have fire aspect. You can do that on any item in the game. So that's what I think. And then if you want to favorite it, you can just favorite it. And then it will save in your favorite. So if you just want it quick. You can also make enchanted books. Uh, here. So you can have it have say whatever you want. And then you can just add it. You can also make a potion. Now this is cool. If you make a potion with jump boost, you can do... Four um, the max is four for ten minutes, and you can change the color, or if it's a splash potion. And also, then you can make it, and then you get speed four for the win. And then you get jump boost, and you can use this as a splash potion and um, put it on your horse, and it will make your horse the. Uh, it'll just make it like you can jump like ten blocks. Like 15 blocks high with the jump boost 4 and the splash potion. Make them super fast. But there's every single effect, including bad effects. Now there's a firework creator. Now this um, is kind of cool. You can obviously name this Old Faithful. You can have a small ball, large ball, flicker, no trail, trail flight, 3, black, red. I'll just do random colors for you guys. Um, let's put it to the night. And as you can see, there's all the commands. You turn it to day. Sunrise, midnight, change the difficulty, fill health and food, and remove potion effects. Change the survival. Boom. Then you can make fireworks that way. Um, you can change to creative. If you um, shift click, it'll delete everything. And delete mode is on or off. And let's say you have um, super good armor and stuff. You have this awesome sword in survival. You can actually go to save. And if you drop the sword, you can go back to the save, and then it will bring it to your inventory. Which actually, you can double click it, and then it gets rid of stuff. I didn't know that. And you can exit out, you can have up to seven saves, which this one's empty. Um, 
a lot of cool stuff. Like, you can have freaking lava slimes. Ozzelot. Here's one of the cool ones. Torch spawner. This is super cool. Um, let's actually get it. Torch. Okay. So you spawn this, and it will spawn torches in a very wide area. As you can see. So, this is super, super cool. Um, all sorts of stuff. Like, um, I think there is a wither. Here's something I bet you haven't seen. Wither jockey. A wither jockey. And, yeah, the wither jockey is pretty cool, I guess. And here's another thing that's kind of cool. If you just have one of these. Oh, delete mode. Whenever you click, it deletes stuff. Um, this can knock them. Probably, yeah, a lot of blocks. Look at this. Ready? Lag. As you can see, it just launches them. Bye-bye. I think I have to hit the spider. Yeah. This thing is awesome. Lots of cool stuff. It's basically kind of... It's not like uh, MC Edit, but I think it has some very cool stuff. And, yeah, I think that's about it for this video, guys. I hope you guys get this mod. It's super cool. You download it like any other mod, like Optifine. Just put it into your jar file. You don't need to do any patching, any of that stuff. This mod's just as easy as Optifine, basically. You just have to find the download link, which I don't have one, but if I find one, I'll put it in the link description. But, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this new outro that I made. I don't know if I'll keep it forever. Basically, it has a previous video. Um, it doesn't have the where you click on it, it goes, but it just has the clip from the last video. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you enjoyed this outro. So, see you guys. Well, not see you guys. Well, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Sorry, I haven't been uploading. I've been very busy. So, hope you enjoyed the intro, and see you guys in the next video. Bye.